the old maybe the focus five speed shift knob that used to be on my b-series car i had it on there forever as you can tell it is definitely worn it could use a uh i guess a repolish or a new brush look um you can see the worn downness in it this thing's actually got a decent weight to it um it's not too crazy this one's just slightly heavier i think they said this was like a three pound i mean this thing is real nice and heavy so but it's six speed and it's solid it looks real nice obviously i got to put a uh adapter on it oops so um i thought i got one without the adapters because it said it was that thread pitch um so i'll probably end up ordering a <clears throat> hybrid racing one once everything's said and done per se oh look at there first one i grabbed i guess i don't get too much lucky in that huh we'll double check these other ones just to be sure that is the the best fit well that one definitely does not go on there yeah that one definitely that's a different thread and that one's too big so it is definitely this one here so i just wanted to uh get those done all right i'll just keep setting y'all down one hand life when you film sometimes i'll probably put this in the other little video i don't know how long that video is going to be yet so um uh, Let's get this thing rocking, y'all. So, I don't know if I should do any type of thread locker or something on this or not. Um, so, that's that. We're gonna have like a three minute three minute video of uh stunning a shift knob, huh? Oh look my buddy joined me. Oh one second camera fell. So I'm just kinda running this in there more in there. I want it to counter sink as much as possible that way I can go as low as possible. Uh I guess my little work buddy, as I said, is mad out there. He likes to sit out here and, and just watch. But it's a little damp, so I'll give him a mat to sit on. As you can tell, he's already <laughs> utilizing it. But uh, let's see what we get here. Oh, man. So that's tight. That's it. So I do have a new shift boot. I actually have a new center whole new center console is actually a little bit nicer than this one um this one's actually in pretty darn good shape so it definitely won't be going anywhere uh but yeah it's mostly a nicer shift boot but uh so i continue to just swap the shift boot and swap just this little top piece because i'm gonna put the leather one in it it's just you know the two screws there and uh then this i could just probably pop this out redo the shift boot and pop it back in but i'm going to pour it all out and probably put in the the new one but not right now, no biggie. So that's, uh, I wish it was facing straighter towards me, but that's that. And it's, I mean, it's tight, it's on there. Yeah, I wish it was more like, you know, I could live with either one of those, not quite that, but. And that's just uh, the way it is. It's threaded in there real nice I could probably thread that out of here and uh, maybe it'll lock in a little bit sooner I don't I don't know let's see if that done anything mm -mm. I guess it is what it is I'll probably end up getting one that doesn't have all that and then this can go on um, any other car really um, but it's nice and heavy you can kind of see 
to it. I mean, it feels nice. So, yeah, that's that. Now these, to keep up with these, I'm actually just going to throw these in my center console. Um, I'm sorry, not my center console, but my, uh, my glove compartment. So that just come over here. Pop, pop, boom. And I guess that's a shift, shift knob installation video, guys. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this shift knob. I'm going to go stick it on the, uh, the B-series stuff that we have. I'm getting old. That's my good boy. Alrighty, so we have a shift knot or a shifter. I don't know if I've shown anybody the shifter yet. Set you guys up right there. Alright. Don't fall down on me. No. Where the shifter is. That's a good question. Oh wait, I think I might have just found some more HID stuff. So that's nice. Alright, cool. Well, where is my shifter? I thought it was just sitting right here. Too many parts, too many parts. The Pro Show gasket for the LSV tech. Yeah. But, um, enough of that. Well, there it is. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is it. Let's see. I'm going to put my Pro Show gasket back. Shout out to my uh, tuner, EB Tech. It's also a performance shop. They always have the stuff I need in stock, so shout out to them for that. That is it. So I have this shifter. This is for the um, Track Integra, the RS Integra. This is nothing fancy. It's just a dual bin shifter to kind of get me by. I'll probably end up buying a short throw shifter to replace it, but on the track, I don't see this lasting too long. Um, but I figured. Why not? It looks okay. Um, we'll see. So let's see how. Boom. Once it goes in. So if it goes in that way, I think, which I think it sits in this way backwards. I think the bend comes back. I had to put my numbers off, but if it goes this way, if the bend goes forward, the numbers are going to be perfect for one through five. So that's. This will be my shifter. I'm gonna leave that on there so nothing gets lost. I'm pretty excited to get ready on this integrate, I ain't gonna laugh. But the Civics first. So we're just gonna keep collecting parts in the meantime. Uh, my knowledge on track stuff is very, very limited. Um, I'm just researching and learning as I go. I know sway bars um, and cooling and uh, Big breaks. <laughs> so that's about all I know. So that's what we're gonna do. The plan is to do the CRV front brake upgrade, and then it's to do the RSX rear brake upgrade, all new bushings. Uh, we're gonna do 24 millimeter sway bar. I don't know about a traction bar yet, but we'll probably do one of them as well. Um, we'll probably definitely do one. I'm gonna do in the rear, I'm gonna do like a PLM, PLM uh, cross X bar, and then I would do a, um, what is it called? A harness bar with harnesses and I've got to get some seats for it and i got to get some different wheels. I want to get some 16 by 8s and then maybe some 16 by 8 and halves. Uh, a good nice tire, either a 205 or 225, like 50-ish, a good tire. And uh, which tires I already know what's going to be. It's going to be the uh, uh, Falcon RT660s because um, that's what I need for the class. Um, the transmission here. These are my shift linkages, but as you can tell, it's not a dual bend shifter. So somebody took the dual bend shifter and put in the D-Series. That's why I got a new shifter. 
but I actually have a factory shifter if I have any issues. I have another set of shifters. Phone down.